Okay, here we go. I uh, am trying to make a screencast in English. And probably you will not be able to understand much of what I say because I'm not very good in English. Uh, but here we go. Uh, the new version of Scratch is Scratch 3.0. And if you go to the homepage of Scratch, uh, you should make yourself a user because then you can save and load the projects you are working on uh, directly from the, the pages. If you don't uh, create uh, a user, you will have to save and load the projects uh, to your computer, from your computer. So, but when you are logged in, in you can go to programming here. And it will change. And you will see the programming interface for Scratch 3.0. It's not uh, so familiar with for you if you have used the Scratch 2.0 because the interface has been changed somewhat. If you go to the globe up here, you can change language and I will change language to English. But there are many other languages if you prefer to use them can be easier to program if you use your own language. So Scratch has got its name from what cats do, they scratch. And uh, the logo of Scratch is the cat, you see here. This part of the programming interface is the scene, and in the scene the characters can move and you can also make backdrops. So this cat, I can move it around, I can make it move by using commands from the, com uh, the programming part of, of the interface over here. They are grouped in different sections. One of them is motion. So if I take move 10 steps and click it, the cat will move 10 steps in the direction it is looking. You can also turn it around and do other things that has to do with movement. One of the most uh, used ones is glide. So if I uh, take this character and move it so it is the right way, then I can make it glide to a position by first placing it in the position it is supposed to glide to then dragging out the glide to x or y here and then move the character back to the position it's supposed to start at you see it changed over here so if i click this one it will glide to the other place again if i wanted to glide from here to down here i will start there and take this glide uh, block and then when I have placed it I can move the cat back up here so when I click this it will glide down there so that's how you make uh, characters glide you can also make them go but that's like jumping so if I'm here I want to make it jump over here then I can take I go to X, Y, then move the cat back, and then I click this one, it jumps over there. So that's another way of moving a character. You can uh, experiment with uh, gliding and moving if you want to, but for now we are going to choose two characters who are going to talk together, because that was our uh, assignment this time. So I will remove the cat by clicking the X on top of the cat here, and then go down here to choose a sprite. When you click on the cat face here, you can choose different sprites, different uh, characters, 
that are built into Scratch. So it may be best to use persons or people. And if you mouse over these characters, you can see that some of them have movement inside. So maybe we want to choose this guy, Ben. And if you just click on Ben, he will ma magically appear in Scratch here. And we can choose another character. Let's see if we find something. Maybe this girl better. So here we have the two characters we are going to use. Uh, you can change the size of a character by just typing in size here in this box and that's in percent. So if I type in 50 it will be smaller, 50% and if I type 200 it becomes bigger, 200%. I'll set it to 100 for now. You can also change direction but we will not look so much at that right now. So each, each sprite has a name. This guy is called Ben, but you can change that name if you want to. That name is used when you are programming. This girl is called Batter. We can just leave uh, her name like that. So when you change between the characters like this, by clicking the, the mini image down here, you you choose the characters. But, uh, so, uh, to make this batter do something, you f first have to choose the batter down here, and then use the commands over here. So if I, I'm going to make her move, I will drag this in to her uh, programming program. <laughs> And if I want Ben to move, then I will have to drag things into his uh, program that's inside here. You can see a watermark in, uh, in the top right corner there for the character you are programming. So if I click this, the girl is moving. If I go to Ben and then move 10 steps for Ben, you can see he starts moving. And she does not start moving because I'm inside Ben. We'll just drop this command in here. And then nothing happens with Ben. And I drop it there. And nothing happens with the button. Okay. So. But how can we make them talk to each other? How can we make a character introduce uh, him or herself?